welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see by the title today, I'm gonna to be playing with new makeup. I'm gonna be doing a smoky eye, clearly. And yeah, I just wanted to sit down today and try and do a smoky eye because it's something that I really, really, really struggle with. And I still don't think I have it right. I'm still not convinced I actually suit them. But I tried and I think considering I'm very bad at doing them, I think it came out okay. So today we're going to be playing with the BH Take Me Back to Brazil palette, which is a super bright palette. But you can see I've done something really, really dark and smoky with it. I feel like my eyes are like smouldering. I also play with the Bare Minerals Wear Pro for the first time. Um, a bunch of new products that I've never tried before. And some old favourites as well. As always, I'll list everything that I've used down in the description box down below. And before we jump in, just do subscribe. It's free and it's fun to get new subscribers. The bunch just down here. And also come follow my Instagram, it is Make Me Up Missa. And yeah, let's just jump into doing a bold black. Probably doesn't suit me. Smoky eye. Bye. So I'm starting off with my eye primed. Um, I've just used concealer, I just used my Makeup Forever concealer palette and it's still wet, I haven't set it um, because I want these colours to really pop and be really really bright and bold so I'm just making sure to get all the creases out initially and then I'm going to take my Take Me Back to Brazil palette it's so bright and colourful and I'm going to go in initially with this very top matte purple shade. I'm taking that on my Jessup 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. It looks like this. I will link these brushes down below because they are so good. I'm going to pop on my outer corner and I'm just tapping it on. I'm in no way trying to blend or make it look beautiful at this point. And I'm just going to pat the colour in an arc from my inner corner to my outer corner or vice versa. Like I said, I'm not trying to blend it or anything. That's my initial shade. Um, and you can see that because it's sitting on top of still wet concealer or tacky concealer, it's not, it's, it's super, super pigmented. Also ignore that my eye area looks a little bit dry. Um, I'm using my, well, I've started using retinol and whilst it doesn't burn or make my skin go red or anything, it's definitely making my eye area a little bit dry, but I know that that will pass, so I'm not worried about it. Next, I'm taking my Jessup 228 Luxe Crease Brush, which is a bit bigger and a bit more fluffy if I show you it compared to the first brush. And I'm dipping into this hot, hot pink shade up here. And this is when I'm going to start to blend the edges. This is actually very similar to the recreation I did of Mitchell's um, cut crease, which I'll link um, if you want to see that kind of a spotlight eye for beginners. But this time we're just doing a pure smoky eye, or we're attempting to, because like I've said, I suck at smoky eyes. I'm just using that very gently. I'm holding like the end of the brush. Just start to blend the edges of that. Then I'm dipping into a lighter shade. I'll dip into this one, just on the same brush and go around the edges of that shade that we've just put on the brighter pink. It's all about using slightly lighter shades or slightly darker shades to add depth and then really help transition. Now before I keep fiddling with my transition, I'm going to start adding more depth back to the crease. And I'm going to use this super dark purple down here. It looks almost black but it's purple. And I'm just going back in with my 231 brush. You really have to get these Jessup brushes from Amazon, they're so inexpensive, but so good. And I'm just gonna kind of redefine my crease with that. And don't worry about the blending, we're just gonna go back in and keep doing it. Back in with my 228, I'm dipping back into that bright pink. I'm just gonna blend the edges. And 
if you're struggling a little, go back in with that initial purple shade as well. And just use that to help blend it into the pink a bit more seamlessly. So now from my Morphe Isley set, I don't think this has a number, it's just a little pencil brush. I'm going to dip into the black from the palette, this is where it gets scary, and I'm just going to pop that in the arc shape as well, just outer corner to inner corner. I will come back to my um, blending as well, I just want to pop on this dark shade first. Just popping that round. This palette is so pigmented. Well, see, some of the shades aren't as good as others, as to be expected, but ones for this look are definitely pigmented. I'm going to go back in with my 228 Luxe Crease, and I'm going to dip into the lightest shade of pink in the palette and just bring that up above my blending just to transition that deeper pink into my base a bit better and then I'm just going to use a clean brush just to go around the edges any brush this is the 221 <laughs> then back in with the 228 you guessed it and I'm going to dip into that purple that we initially used and the pink and just start to blend that black into the deeper crease shades that we've already placed on. I don't know why I've always found smoky eyes the hardest to do. I just find them really, really difficult. And then I think I need to exaggerate that pink a bit more because this one's a bit more pink on the outer corner. So I'm just going to dip back into the pink and just re-intensify that a little bit. Okay, now rather than just plonk a black eyeshadow on my lid, because I want this to be super dark and long lasting and I think a black eyeshadow is just not going to cut it quite well enough. So I'm taking my NYX gel eyeliner, which is just a black eyeliner, and I'm going to take a flat brush, this is my ABH A27, and I'm going to pick up quite a lot of that liner on the brush, and then pat that all over my eyelid. You can just see how, how dark that is. I'm taking that up to my blending, so just slightly higher than my actual mobile lid, just so that it meets the blending that I've done. I don't know how tempted I am to go in with glitter or something, but I just want to try and do like a plain-ish smoky eye. So now that I've got that black jet liner all over my lid, I need to blend it in. So I'm going to dip into the darkest purple and mix it a little bit with black and then just go around the edges of where the gel liner ends and the shadow kind of starts. And I'm just going to try and blend it a little bit. And then I'm taking another Jessup brush. This is the 237 Detail Shader Brush, which is just a nice little flat brush. And I've dipped into the black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna pat it over the gel liner just to set it in place. Being very careful at the edges not to take it any higher or make it too messy. And then that is what we have so far. My, my tired eyes. Now we can just wipe away any fallout and now we can move on to skin and I'm very excited to try the Bare Minerals foundation. So let's move on to skin now and we'll obviously finish off eyes later on. Okay so now we can move on to skin and I'm going to use for the first time my Bare Minerals Bare Pro 
foundation. I'm really, really excited to try this. Um, I've heard a lot of really good things about it. Um, I was matched to 06. Is it 06? Yeah, 06 Cashmere. I actually was matched to 05, but they didn't have any in stock. And then this one like looked fine. So I was like, I'll just take it. I want to I wanna buy it as soon as possible. So my skin is clean. I've not primed. I'm not going to bother. And I'm just going to bung it on and see what it looks like. Not coming out. It's very liquidy. Like super liquidy. Like it's just running away from me. I'm excited to see the coverage. I think it's full coverage or at least medium to full. It seems so much warmer than all the other foundations I use, but I did say to her I wouldn't mind, to the really lovely girl that served me, I said I wouldn't mind getting a bit more colour from my foundation, so she said this one would look nice. I'm going to blend that in using my Look Good Feel Better sponge, which I love. I think that colour is quite nice actually. Maybe a little warmer than my body, but I did ask for that and also so many of my foundations are really really pale And it'd be nice to have one that's slightly deeper to actually mix into some of my pale ones Sorry, I had to just get my hair out of the way because it was annoying me Let's see, it's blending really really easily I would say it's a really nice medium to full coverage so far it looks really nice on my skin, like my pores aren't emphasised, it's not sitting in my fine lines, it's got quite a nice kind of dewy finish, I would say like a satin finish maybe. I'm going to add a smidge more to my cheeks, just where I'm kind of got the worst of my blemishes and see how it blends on top of itself and also if it makes the coverage any better. a really really nice foundation it's not blowing me away but it is certainly very nice and I love how my skin looks with it on and I actually think the color is really quite nice even though maybe I look a little pale through here like on my chest I can just bronze up a little anyway on my body that's nice I really like that for concealer I do have a new concealer I've got the new Primark one well it's not new but a new Primark one but I also got sent all of the new or every single shade of the Revolution Conceal and Defines but I'm gonna go in with a couple of shades I'm gonna go in with one of the new ones which is 0.5 under my eyes and then I'm gonna go in with my shade 4 for my blemishes on my face that I still feel like aren't quite covered enough because this is a bit deeper and should just help to hide those spots a little bit better. That was shade 4, now I'm going to go in with 0 0.5 under my eyes. It's very pale, which you know I like under my eyes and it's also quite pink toned so it should help to brighten a little bit. That was probably way too much. What's new? What's new for me? <laughs> that is so, so pale, isn't it? Such a good concealer. My only issue with this concealer is that the amount of product you get in the tube is so little. You only get just over three grams of product um, in the tube, whereas, for example, my LA Girl one that I really like, you get eight grams of product, so more than almost three times as much and it lasts a long, long time, whereas one of these tubes just does not last very long. That is so brightening. I think it's way too pale for the foundation shade that I used though, but everything will blend in in the end. I'm not worried about it, but maybe I should have gone in with maybe shade one or two. I just wanted to test one of the new ones, to be honest. I do actually have a new powder to try. I'm gonna try the Milani Prep and Set and Go Transparent Face Powder. This is in 01 which is just like, it looks like like a pressed HD powder, just like pure white almost. I'm just gonna pat that all over my neep, set this face down. 
I like that it doesn't look like heavy or cakey. I don't look like I'm applying face powder. I think it's just really just doing a nice job setting it. I was gonna cream contour and I forgot again. I always seem to forget cream contouring. Quite pale all of a sudden, maybe that's just the concealer that I put on. That seems like a really nice powder. It's just set my face in place quite nicely. Yeah, it feels feels nice and matte now for putting on the rest of my powders. I've got a new bronzer to try. Well, I've tried the bronzers from this line, but this is just a deeper shade. So it's the Milani Baked Bronzer, but in 05. It comes with a brush. Um, I've got 04 and I use that a heap. Um, but let's just try 05 on my skin. I think it'll be fine. It'll just be slightly deeper. I really, really like the formula of these Milani bronzers. I just think they blend out so beautifully. And they have just this really slight kind of luminosity to them, so they're not completely flat and matte. And actually, I'm really starting to steer towards bronzers that aren't super matte. I don't know, I just think it looks really flattering on my skin. product actually let me just check no I don't so I'm gonna go in with a real classic I'm gonna go in with Benefit Hula to contour with and I'm going really quite glam today so I think a dark smoky eye requires like a super glam look so I'm really kind of I'm gonna use quite a lot of product reminds me I need to buy Hula Light so I can try and use that as a um, bronzer. This Hula is too dark for me to do that with. I'm just using, going back in with my bronzer brush just so I can really diffuse all the all the powders that I've put on my face. And I like to go back in with my powder brush too and just make sure I've got no harsh lines anywhere. Everything is blending so beautifully over this foundation, like easy peasy. Um, for blush, I'm going to use the Milani Powder Blush in 11 Blossom Time Rose. It's one of those really, really pretty, like flower printed ones. Um, I think it's matte, but it's potentially got a really fine gold sheen to it. Milani really know how to do blushers and bronzers. On my cheekbones, um, I got this little Model Co highlighter in my birch box and um, it's very, very pink once you put your brush in it. So I'm going to pop a bit of that on my, like the apples of my cheeks just to add a bit more shimmer there. It's more like a blush topper to be honest than a highlighter. Just to kind of add a bit of dimension. See that kind of sheen I've got now? I really like that look. And I think my face can take a bit of pink with blush, you know, just because my eyes have got that pink tone to them as well. If I want to really make my face look defined, which looks especially good in pictures, I'll like suck in my cheeks and then contour where it's like sucked in. like all the way down there, just very lightly. And I just blend it out. That leaves us with highlight and I've got a couple of new ones. Did I buy any? Yeah, so I've got the Revolution Pro one. I've also got a Milani one. I also have um, the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder. And I think that's it. I think that's all the new highlights I have. I'm just gonna like swatch them all and see which one I want to put on my face. That's the Gerard Cosmetics one. That's the Milani one there. That's the Revolution and Revolution. Let's see. 
the Gerard Milani Revolution Revolution. I think I'm most drawn to the Revolution one actually because I think this one's going to suit my skin tone best. That one looks a bit dull, that's the Milani one. And that one's maybe too orangey, peachy gold for my skin tone. So I'm going to use this middle shade here from the Revolution palette and see, see what happens. I'm sure it'll be good. Yeah. I was, I was correct in that assumption, that's gorgeous. I'm just using it really lightly as well. Imagine it wet, we will test that. I feel like I'm talking really quietly, I hope you can hear me. This is so pretty. I'm gonna try this now, I'm gonna try the Gerard Cosmetics Slate All Day Setting Spray. This is in the coconut scent, and it is very coconutty. It smells like a, it's like a pina colada that's coconutty. My mum would love that. She loves um, Malibu. Not that she drinks much, if you're watching this mum, I'm not saying that, I just mean she likes the taste of it. I'm just gonna wet the brush that has a bit of the highlighter on. glowing. Put some more on the body. Well I'm definitely glowing. I'm gonna go back in with my blush brush and just make sure my um like the edges of my highlight are really blended into the blush. Just using the pink shade a little bit on my inner corner. I'll re-intensify it in a bit, but I just wanted to see what it looks like, and it is gorgeous. Look, like your flame. And let's just spray this all over the face anyway. Just to soak up any loose powder that's sitting on top of the skin. I feel like my body's glowing. That is quite a strong scent, but I find it quite pleasant. I'm not like affected by scents and products really. I think it's quite pleasant. I want to throw some lashes on now and I've got these Ellie Splash Dauntless lashes that I've never tried or I have a couple of pairs that Glamify sent me. Um, so I've got, oh, I think I'll use these. These are the Glamify GC14. Sorry, it's gone so dark which are quite fluffy, but I'll use my own glue. I'll use dual glue because I don't really like the glue that usually comes free with lashes. I'll just throw on a little bit of mascara first, just as a good base to sit the lashes on top of. Right, let me throw my lashes on and then we'll be almost done actually. While my lashes are still drying, I'm going to use my new favorite black eyeliner. Um, I'm quite fickle with black eyeliners because I think a lot of them do the same job. They're black, they're eyeliners. However, since trying this one, I was like, wow, that's a good one. This is the Milani Stay Proof Waterproof Eyeliner. And I wore it the other day for about 10 hours and it was still perfectly on. I'm gonna tight line and waterline with it. It's a little bit gruesome to watch someone do. trying to do it without going with my mouth. I'm going to take it just below my lash line as well just so that I can um, smudge it out because I think we need to do a pretty smoky lower lash line. And then I'm going to take my little Morphe pencil brush and I think I'll take the black on it and start to run that along my lower lash line. trying to make it so I don't look like I've been punched in the eye but I always find the lower lash line quite difficult <laughs> don't know why I'm making sure to connect it to the top 
at the outer corner just that like when my eyes open and from different angles you know it looks right it doesn't there's not like a gap or anything and then just on the same brush i'm going to dip into like the bright pink this one here and maybe a little bit of purple and just run that along the black just to kind of give it a bit more color and to match the the top of my eyes On my lower lash line, I'm going to pop on some mascara. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. It's just a sample size one. So to finish off, I'm going to line my lips using the NYX lip liner in Cape Town, which is just a nude. I think this look calls for a nude lip, realistically. And then to fill in my lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cabo, which is quite a light nude, I think. And it's a bit peachier. I do actually quite like the shade. I just find with these I have to dip quite a few times to get enough like pigment on my lips but they do actually stay a lot longer on my lips than I thought they would as well I'm just not that blown away I just maybe want more of an impact I'm gonna use a slightly darker lip liner this is in the shade Do -do 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 Los Angeles I feel like I want a bit more drama from my lip, you know? We do something with this mop and then that'll be it done. Here we go then, that is my finished look with a bold, bold, smoky eye and a nude lip. The, the ingenuity, the originality is, is incredible. But I do really like how this turned out. So this then is my finished look. I still just don't think I really suit a smoky eye. I'm not sure if I've just not got the right shape or I've just not got the technique down. I just think a smoky eye means so heavy. I don't know, maybe it just needs to not be black and just use other shades. But I mean, I do quite like how this makeup look came out. I really, really love the foundation. I love how my skin looks like up close. It just looks so good. And also another standout product was the Revolution Pro Highlighter Palette, I really like that as well. And I do love my Take Me Back to Brazil Palette by BH. Um, I need to play more with the brighter colours and do like a more bright look with it. But I mean you can do super dark smoky eyes with it and then you can see the bright colours for doing a, you know, a brighter look. Yeah, I think I really loved every product that I used today to be honest. I used some new obviously and then some kind of ones that I've tried before or favourites and that. Yeah, I really like... I like it. What do you think? Yeah, so let me know what you think of this look. Do you think I suit a smoky eye or not? I won't be offended. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it. It's only taken me about five or six hours. I do just tend to spend all, like all day doing like a makeup tutorial. Like I don't like filming tutorials unless I have like all day to play and do them. But I do enjoy the process of putting makeup on for about five hours. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, please. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I try and wave at the back because I have really, really large hands. So the farther back I hold them, the, the smaller they look. <laughs>